Hey everybody, this is Stacy. I have a little video to share with you today. Um, it is not a mini album. I'm working on <laughs> several different projects at once. I have two wedding albums that I'm making. I'm waiting for paper to come for one. The other one I'm working on, plus I'm working on another little project. The other little project is uh, I want to start making junk journals as well as mini albums. I think I really like them. I, I like how they're just kind of I don't know they're just kind of messy and you use a lot of old ephemera and all that anyway so long story short I'm over at Michael's I'm tooling around Michael's I happen to walk down the new wedding section by David Tutora and um, I look up and I see the wax box some boxes of wax and some wax seals and I thought wow they'd be really cool to you know put in a junk journal and stuff and uh, so, you know, you work the coupons and you pick up, <laughs> you pick up what you can get with your coupons. So, uh, I got a box of wax and I also got one of these seals. This is a, this is a fleur de lis. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. Anyway, so um, that also got me start thinking. Well, wouldn't it be cool to do the old style, I guess, Victorian or Regency style letters and put them in the junk journal? Um, so I did a little research online and to find out the who, why, and what of it all. And here's a little, I'll do a little backstory super quick and then I'll show you how to fold this paper. Um, so uh, apparently back in that time period, um, envelopes were not um, widely used. I guess when you sent something through post, the receiver paid the postage instead of the sender like we do today and so the postage was based off of the weight of the letter and the distance it was going so of course if you added an envelope to this it would be heavier and that would be considered bad manners to have this huge long letter with you, that somebody else is paying for so um, that's why they were folding these, um, they were folding their paper up instead of using envelopes. Um, so anyway, came across a website called Her Reputation for a Compliment, for, I'm sorry, Her Reputation for Accomplishment on WordPress. It's wordpress.com. And this is a lady who studies a lot about the, I guess the time period that Jane Austen lived. And um, so she's got a ton of information on, on that, which is, which is really cool. I'm kind of fascinated with that whole time period myself and, and Jane Austen as a person. So today she has got on her website how you folded a Regency, what was called a Regency letter back then. So, Back in that time period, a piece of paper was a measured, um, it was tw anywhere from 22 inches by 30 and a quarter inches. That was called an imperial size. There were several, there were several sizes, but just for the sake of, you know, whatever, I won't go into all of that. So basically this is um, the 22 by 30. 30 and a quarter inch. Um, these aren't quite as big. Um, I think I'm missing about an inch, but this is the biggest paper I had on hand and I just wanted to kind of give you an example. So it was a little bit bigger than this. So what they did was, this is considered a full sheet and then you would have half sheets and your most of your letters, I guess, were written on a quarter sheet. So it's a quarter a quarter of your full sheet of paper. Then the proper way to do it would to be fold, to fold your paper in half, okay? So you'd have three pages to write on. You'd write on the first page here, and then the two inside pages, this would be page two and page three, and you would need to leave a bit of a space on top for page three because that um, and you'll see why it has something to do with your wax seal. You didn't want your writing ripped out from under your wax seal. So after you were done writing your letters, your back page would be blank. Turn it sideways and then you would fold it in half because you wanted that crease. That's where your center is. 
Then you would fold each side to that crease. Let's see how if this one comes out good. <laughs> then your your little sides that that are open here, you would fold that. Well, I guess I should probably do this this way. You fold that down. Maybe that's probably about a quarter or so of the paper. You wanted to fold that down, and then you want to take this bottom part, and you want to fold that up to right about there-ish. So you can see it just covers that, just, just a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. And then you would tuck this flap under the very first page here. In that very back, the first, first little page that you can pull up. And you would tuck that in and then you would have your nice folded letter. When you flipped it, nobody and nobody could read it because this would be blank, this would be blank. And then you wrote your address here on this side or the person that it was going to in the city, I'm not exactly sure. And then you would do your wax seal on top of that, like that. I'm not gonna get into the wax seal today because um, I think I may have found a way to fake a wax seal. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out in a couple different ways and I will let you know um, there will be a video on how it works. But anyways, um, you can see I did my little, earlier I did my little fleur-de-lis on there. And just, here's an example. Now this is, it's really blurry, so. But this is an example of a folded letter that had been opened. This is um, a letter from Jane Austen to, I believe, her niece. And Jane liked to write some really long letters. <laughs> so she would do, it looks like, she, you know, she would do the pages, but she also knew that nobody be, would could be reading the flaps that were tucked in. So this part here, she would write, because you gotta remember, you left that part blank. So she would also write here, here and here, which is which are these two. And then she would write, it looks like a little bit, let's see, her wax seal looked like it was here. So she would also write a little bit somewhere else, maybe, maybe maybe here, because you would seal it. So maybe she would write a little bit here as well. And then she would also do something kind of crazy. Uh, she would write her letter the regular way. When she was done, she would flip the paper and write across what she had already written. I just found that kind of interesting. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah. Um, but that's it for today, you guys. Uh, if anybody, if any of you are, you know, junk journal people, I hope you I hope you try out this little fold here. It's kind of cool. And run to Michael's and get some wax seal stuff. And I will be back with uh, another tutorial about um, sealing these letters and how I think maybe maybe we might be able to to uh, fake a wax seal without having to buy. Uh, all the goods. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.